Hey y'all, it's Caitlin and I'm back again to speak about Cajun and Creole dialects, accents, customs, and the, the heritage. Um, first, before anything, I want to show y'all my shirt. Found this on Facebook, um, Hey Penelope Orton Design. Here's her cord. You can find her on Facebook or Etsy. Hey Penelope Design .etsy .com. Um, you should really go check her out because um I got this shirt at a really good price. And she also has a lot of other really cute tank tops related to Louisiana. Um so go check her out. Um she's kind of an up up and coming um business, small business. So I like to give my money to small businesses. I like to give my business to small businesses. Um, okay, so I'll start off by saying, um, I've lived in Louisiana all my life, born and raised, and there's many accents here, but mainly the three main big ones is the North Louisiana accent, and then you have the Southern and Acadiana accent, which is Cajun, and then you have like off to the the foot part of the boot of Louisiana where the toes would be in the New Orleans area you have that New Orleans accent so the North Louisiana well let me show you my shirt I'll show you the region because the um, accent goes by the region of course North Middle South so let me show you from up here to about right here is what considered North Louisiana and then from here to here is like the Acadiana area and this down here is New Orleans area and that would be like that so that's three separate regions um, and of course there's a lot of accents mixed up in those regions but the three main big ones are the ones I just listed so the North Louisiana accent sounds really similar to a Mississippi accent or Alabama accent is that really s typical southern accent it's really twangy um, for example it's a beautiful day outside today that's the typical kind of southern accent that you find in North Louisiana and then you have the Cajun accent which is or the Acadiana accent um, which is pretty much the way I'm speaking right now. Um, example, I just flipped the penny and it landed on tails. Cajun accent. Um, then you have your New Orleans accent, um, which is, this is just mainly found in New Orleans. Um, and not everyone there speaks with this accent, but a lot of people do. And it's called the Yat accent, which is um, spelled Y A T. Um, and it's called that because um, they say yat instead of saying like where are you at or where are you you say where yat just like one word where yat if um somebody calls me I'll be like hey what you doing oh yeah where yat we say that here too um I'll take a whack at doing a New Orleans accent but I don't know if I can do one that well, um, you know you're born and raised in New Orleans when you got that yad accent. It sounds really similar to a Jersey accent. There's many, many words um, that sound similar to Jersey accent. And um, I get that too sometimes. I, I get that too from people when I go <clears throat> out, of, out of state. They'll say I sound, some of my words sound like I'm from Jersey. Um, North Louisiana versus South Louisiana. Some of the words. North Louisiana would say Dr. Pepper. South Louisiana would say Dr. Pepper because we dropped the ER. Or North Louisiana over yonder. South Louisiana over yonder. Um, and speaking to actors and actresses, who try to do a Cajun accent or a South Louisiana accent, they don't know how to do a Cajun accent. Um, 
they'll either just do a typical southern twangy accent or they'll do a really 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 exaggerated Cajun accent and they'll put a lot of emphasis on the D um, in the words like that um, and over there um, the only actor that I've really seen in a movie that um, can somewhat <coughs> pretty good do a, a, a like a South Louisiana New Orleans Cajun accent would be John Goodman and I would say that is contributed to the fact that he lived in New Orleans for quite a while um so he's pretty decent in doing an accent um now as for true blood those accents are horrible um The major um, mistake that the actors and actresses make is they just do, they think just because Louisiana's in the South that it's a typical Southern accent and it's not. Um, they'll really try, when they go the route of sounding, trying to sound Cajun, um, of course, the Cajuns um, in South Louisiana put a lot of emphasis on the D's in their words, like, especially at the beginning of words, like, that becomes dat and over there becomes over there um them becomes dim um the is duh um if you follow the saints you know who that who that who that um and it doesn't have to be a th at the beginning of a word it can be a, a t sound in the middle of a, a word like another becomes another um so i would say if you're trying to do a cajun accent and you're trying to emphasize that d don't do it a hard don't do it as a hard d do it more as a lazy soft d like over there versus over there or i brought dim to the grocery store I brought them. I brought them. I brought them. I brought them to the grocery store. Um, of course, um, yeah, also, like I said earlier, we dropped the ERs at the end of our words, like, um, which I think is kind of typically a Southern thing um, in a lot of Southern places. Um, like Snyder, the word, the, the name Snyder becomes Snyder. And, um, here becomes here, here, over here. Um, point is, if you're an actor and you're trying to do a Cajun accent, do not do a typical Southern twangy accent. Um, now I'm going to go into some of the phrases, into the Cajun French. I'm going to go into the Cajun French. Um, a lot of the older generation, like grandparents and some of our parents, um speak cajun french a lot of the younger generation is not fluent in cajun french i'm not fluent in cajun french but many 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 people in my family are and um i wish i would have been taught how to speak cajun or creole french but i wasn't um but even though um with the young generation many of our words in our daily conversations will replace the English word with the French word. Um, I'll give y'all some examples. Um, this is one everyone says. Everyone, young and old, is shy. Um, or the real French, the France French would be mon, like cher, like mon cher. But it's shy. We say shy, and that's a term of endearment. And you say that when you, or say you look at a baby, or a little puppy, something small and cute. You say, "Oh, shy baby, shy baby." Um, and frissons. Um, that's the chills. You get cold all of a sudden, and you say, "Oh, it just got so cold. I got the frissons." Um, couillon. Couillon means um like stupid person or crazy person. Um, example. That couillon ran straight into the pole. Um, malavance. 
Um, mal avance means sick stomach. Of course, mal means sick in French, and vent uh, means stomach in Cajun French. I don't know if it means it in France French, but the mal avance means a sick stomach. And um, also along those lines, this might not be too ladylike, but um, the foies, foies, um, that pretty much means, um, I'll give you an example. I went to the Mexican restaurant, and after I left, I had the foies. That means I had the diarrhea, or, you know, you get the idea. Um, um, our godfather and godmother, um, we call them in French, godfather is parent or parent, and godmother is nanan. Um, minou, minou means, um, here kitty, or it could be a cat's name, minou, just call the cat minou, um, it, it, it's, it means that you're referring to a cat, um, and to fe dodo or go dodo, um, means to go take a nap, and you'll typically say that to a child, um, when they're, when you want to put them down for a nap or something, um, you'll say, let's go, let's go to do, go, let's go to sleep. Um, um, may, M-A-I-S is a really big one. May, um, you'll say that kind of like when you're thinking, if someone asks you a question, asks you a question, and, oh yeah, that's another thing we say, axe, axes. Um, okay, may, and that means like, well, you say, meh, um, it's a big one, everyone says that one, um, somebody asks you, asks you a question, did you get the goggles at the bottom of the pool, and you answer, man, I don't know how to swim, I couldn't go under the water, 12 feet under the water and get the goggles, I don't know how to swim, that's an example, um, kanai means sneaky, um, or sly, like I'll say, my puppy's kind of eye because he'll go sneak in the corner and pee. Um, payad means um, a person that will say that when someone's drunk and they don't know where they're at. You say, oh, God, he got payad last night and he jumped off the bridge. Um, haunt, to be haunt, um, means to be embarrassed. Um, Mamzelle is means dragonfly. And you can also use that when you're talking. You, you can say that's a nickname for a little girl. Um, grandmothers will call their granddaughter Mamzelle. Um, a Marigouin. We have a lot of Marigouins here. Marigouin is a mosquito. Um, I can go outside right now and get tore up by the Marigouins. Um, and a Catin is a... It, re it means baby doll but it's really um it it's referring to a pretty girl cotton cotton um and to go to la ville of course that means i'm going to la ville i'm going to town um and also when we refer to animals um we tend to call them by their french name to uh galeuse is a turtle um Cochon is a pig. That was a big cochon. Um, and of course, she has a dog. Um, we tend to call the animals by their French names. Um, and also, we have the Cajun nicknames. Um, they are just, they, you just put a T in front of the name. And like T Boy or T Coon or T Brent. Um, just put the T, like T dash person's name. <laughs> That's occasion of uh, nickname. Okay. Now we're going to go into some phrases that we typically say in this in this local area that I live in. Um, of course, I said where you at earlier, which means where are you. Um, to put the clothes up or to save the clothes after you fold them. You put up the clothes. That means you put the clothes away in the drawer or in the closet. Um... To pass the mop or to pass the sweep means to sweep or mop the floor. 
you pass in the mop. Um, to come see, I'll say to my little dog, come see, come see. That means come to me. Um, over there, over there is something that was pointed out to me that I, that a lot of us say by someone that came from New York. Over there. Um, you say, are you getting down? Say, you'll say that when you're at the store and someone's riding with you and you want to know if they're getting down with you to come in the store. Um, and many, many people here still call the refrigerator an icebox. And that harkens back to the days, of course, before they had refrigerators. There was literally a box of ice um, that you would keep your meat in. And um, this one, kunas, um, that is a term of endearment. Um, we're not rednecks where I live. Um, Cajun slash kunas. And kunas originally started off in the like 1800s 1900s um as an insult given to the acadians and the cajuns that lived here but it ended up now it's a term of endearment and many many people are proud to call themselves kunasses um what's next okay um just a quick history lesson um Cajuns in Louisiana are descendants of French settlers from Canada, and um, those that lived in uh, in Canada were called Acadians, Acadians, Acadian. Um, in the 1700s, mainly settled in Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island. Um, but um, when that part, when Canada came under British control, um. The Britons came in and expelled the French settlers in something called the Great Expulsion. And um, they killed many, many of the French settlers. And the ones they didn't kill came down to Louisiana. And they were mainly expelled and killed because they did not want to give up their Catholic religion. Uh, and that is why many, many people in South Louisiana are Catholic and not Baptist. Uh, when you think of the South, you think of Baptist, um, but here in South Louisiana, it is a huge concentration of Catholics, and I'm one of them. Um, lastly, I'll talk about our food, um, Cajun and Creole food. This is the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more. Of course, there's gumbo, there's sauce piquant, um, couvillon, which is fish, um, Bouilli, which is a um a gravy um of the innards of an animal. You got the cochon de lait, which is a roasted pig, um, a smoke, or you put it in hang it up in a smoke house. Um you got boudin, um, andouille, which is a big fat sausage, and you got crawfish bisque and crab bisque, ponce, which is a pig stomach, um, that you cook in a gravy and um it might sound nasty but all this stuff is really good because we know how to cook it and um we didn't let anything go to waste back in the day when you slaughter an animal you don't let one piece of it go to waste so that's why we eat all the innards um of the animal um and then you have your delicacies such as frog legs snapping turtle um squirrel venison dove um we can make anything taste good frog legs are awesome uh snapping turtle cook that up in a red gravy it's good it's not nasty um anyway that's just the tip of the iceberg um also it's not strange to walk into a backyard in south louisiana and see a smokehouse um we really like to smoke our sausage here and our meat and um a smokehouse is just a tin, small tin building um, with wood for a frame. And you literally just, you make your sausage and smoke your sausage all day, all night. Um, and it makes it a really nice smoky flavor. But it's not uncommon to see that in many backyards in South Louisiana. 
because um, many people here slaughter their own animals. We make our own sausage. Uh, we know how to survive without going to Walmart, you know. Um, so I think that concludes it for now. I'm going on 20 minutes. I know I've been talking a really long time. So um, I hope y'all enjoyed this little lesson um, on Cajun and Creole customs and heritage.